in the veteran community, you know, we're not always as prepared as we think we are. We're not always operating at the highest level we can. We get complacent, we get lazy too. And Warrior Rising doesn't really, that doesn't work with, with that kind of mindset. You know what I mean? You have, to, you have to be prepared to put in what you did when you were serving at your highest level. It's the same thing with this. In some ways, it's more challenging, you know? Um, because you're carving out that path yourself and you're trying to you know, dictate the mission where it was dictated to you in the past. The veterans that want to be a part of Warrior Rising have to show that they're actively progressing forward. And it's not until they're complete and they've worked hard and they've showed that they, they are 100% into it that they actually become, when they graduate, that they become warriors that are rising. And they're rising to stardom because they're gonna be pillars in their communities. They're gonna be pillars in the business community. And hopefully they will be mentors to the next generation of warriors that want to be entrepreneurs. Welcome to Napa, guys. This is Warrior Rising. Congratulations. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to do what we call a business shower. So similar to a bridal shower or a baby shower, this business shower is an opportunity for us to give you guys everything that you need to succeed in business. You guys have gone through the Warrior Academy. You guys have been a part of Warrior Rising for the last few months. Now you guys will all be our success stories. It is a wheelchair bag that is specific to the make and model of the wheelchair. Uh, looking to start out as a brick and mortar, but then grow it all the way up to be running an Olympic qualifying event. The recent joke of the Marines are called crayon eaters. I brought that joke to reality. We provide mental health services, um, targeting primarily veterans, first responders, first responders and their families. I recently started about a year and a half ago an HR consulting company that supports small businesses. We make fresh made meal bars. Uh, I've been doing it for about five years now. Uh, it's been a hell of a ride. I recognize that there is a need for something uplifting. And so I'm going to create this company and we're going to be very artist friendly. We discovered that in America we have a less than 20% job placement rate for vision impaired and blind folks. There's a big digital divide between instructors and students, and so that's why I'm creating an application to help bridge this divide. They can figure out a way to manage any injury they've got or any illness that they've got or mental health issues. And then we're going to give you guys a laptop computer. We're going to give you guys a business suit. We're gonna give you guys a website or SEO if you'd like that. We're gonna do mentoring all day. Then we're gonna do a pitch competition. What I've discovered is that the, the lack of training is target number one. So I created inclusive skill set, an e-learning platform for vision and blind folks. We've created a unique way of producing our bars at scale that reflects what consumers today want and what they expect. So I will offer a low pressure way for people to try an array of products, both handmade and manufactured by companies around the country. And I basically explained that to them. And within that time frame, it was about two years that I kind of went through that I established a love for giving that advice out to small business owners. At Peaceful Pastures Therapy, we provide mental health services in a unique setting. Our current timeline with funding, once funding is provided, is by August to have our first batch run with a full uh, operation in September. It is an all clean, um, upbeat, hot music company. All original music. Right, we don't just see ourselves as a place to, to generate revenue through sales and that's it. Hey, you're a customer in and you're a customer out. We want you to be a customer for life. Student Review allows a student to create all their study material in lecture while the lecture is still happening so they don't have to spend that time after lecture to create it. Every other average wheelchair user was breaking stuff at the same rapid rate that I was. So you would think that a product would exist so they could do the repairs on their own. Um, and upon researching that, it didn't exist. There's a void in the market for a product like this. Starting a business, that's, that's terrifying. That's, uh, it's a scary process, but it doesn't, it's not as scary. I found out when you have support of a team, people that are there to help you out, 
and to uh, guide you so you don't make the same mistakes they either made or to point you in the right direction or to just be a listening ear when you're getting frustrated and having a hard time. And eventually the state of Florida, due to my consulting work, reached out to me and they said, hey, can you build an e-learning platform? Can you help us train visually impaired blind people during COVID? And I said, I don't know, but I'll figure it out. And so fast forward a year and here we are. We've successfully completed a pilot with the state of Florida. Uh, we've had a 98% placement rate um, of the people that we have placed. Uh, we have, we've almost doubled their income. I'm creating a business that's called a student review. And basically what this application does is while, you, while the student is sitting in a lecture, they highlight the material that they think is important. They click where they want that information to go and they can make a note card in less than 10 seconds. So what this application will do, you can create all of your outlines, all of your note cards, perform all your Google searches and reference searches, and it creates quizzes for you all by simply highlighting and clicking a button. We've set out a plan to create the very first edible, colorable, chocolatey crayons. Most of you have seen them on your tables today. They are triangle shaped for three reasons. It's flat, you don't lose your food. Higher ranking officials in the military can tell the lower ranking officials in the military which type of crayon is safe to eat. And for those of you that have children, it's easier for you to decipher. It's okay to eat my triangled ones. It's not okay to eat the round ones. Judges, have you come to a final decision? All right, Luke, we'd like to congratulate you for not only being most innovative, but on proof of concept. So well done, man. Congratulations, Luke, to the winner of the Dune, the Dune Prize winner of the Napa Warrior Regiment. On behalf of Warrior Rising, we'd like to grant each of you a $10,000 check. I want to say thank you to everyone that showed up tonight to support Warrior Rising and support the veterans. I have had a very tumultuous journey from the day that I got wounded to the day that I got here. And it has been one of self-growth and just this crazy empowering journey. But I gotta tell you that it's been rocket rocket fuel on my journey to come across my tribe here at Warrior Rising. Uh, to find other people that have gone through the same challenges and are also starting businesses is one of the most powerful things I've found. And uh, whoever won tonight, we were all so stoked because everybody here needs this money to build their dream, employ more people, and, and inspire the next generation. So I, I really can't, uh, I don't think I could possibly verbalize it good enough, but thank you all for all your support.